Welcome to another mech review with me, Average Gamer. That's right. So we're going to look at another mech today. We're going to look at it, talk about its viability and uh, cost, effectiveness, uh, builds, etc. And uh, discuss this guy. Figure out what, uh, what we should do. Um, so firstly, what mech are we looking at today? Well, today we're looking at the AWS, or the awesome 8R, that's right. It's an inner sphere mech, um, specifically used for the assault role. It will run you yeah, about 6.5 million bucks, or C bills. Uh, MC-wise, it's 2,600, to be honest with you. Don't send, bend MC on this guy, just use your C bills. Um, it's a very good intro mech, as I like to call it. Um, it's the first mech I got. Um, it's a very good mech to learn how to use because it can be used in multiple, well, two major roles. Um, I like to call it fire support and running in and bitch slapping motherfuckers. <laughs> or brawling in this case. So, let's take a look at this little mech, shall we? So first off, it's, um, uh, it's about, it's an 80 ton mech. Overall 78 slots to throw shit into it. Um, the armor's 494 or, um, you know, almost 500. Um, the heat is usual. Um, basically what it comes with, what the uh, the 6.5 million dollar price tag, well, it comes with heating, air conditioning, uh, leather seats. <laughs> now, what does it come with? Okay, so it comes with three energy hard points, four missile points, and one AMS. So, right there you can tell that either you can build it out with a little bit of laser vomit, and a lot of missiles, or a lot of missiles with a little bit of support, or vice versa, right? So I'm going to go through the two builds that I have for it um, in a few moments here, but this is what it comes with. It comes with one large laser in the right arm, one, two LRM-15s, you can see them in the shoulders here, and then one small laser in the head. Uh, the quirks, well, there's the usual structure, torso, blah, 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 blah. But we want to get into the weapon stuff, right? So the weapons, the weapon quirks are the following. Energy cooldown is increased by 12.5%. Missile cooldown also 12.5%, large laser cooldown 12.5%, and LRM-15 cooldown 12.5%, missile heat generation and energy heat generation are both reduced by 15%, and laser gener uh, laser gener uh, duration sorry, is down 25%. So, what does that mean? Well, it means if you put on, for example, LRM-15, it actually, its cooldown rate is 25%. Um, large laser, 25% as well. You don't have to specifically put those weapons on there, but it's a way to use, it's one of the two ways, right? So, what two builds should we do with this guy? Well, I have one. The build I have, if you see, is an LRM build. We're going to bring up the expanded view here with nothing. Here we go. So, this is the LRM build out of the two builds that, I, that I've used for this guy. Um, the builds I'm using are four LRM-15s with seven, yeah, seven tons of ammo. So it's, a, it's uh, quite a few amount of rounds. And three medium pulse. Now you're probably thinking, seven tons of ammo, that's 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 a lot, right? I mean, when I do the, the math here real quick, if I bring up my calculator on my phone, it's what, seven times, I think it's 150 rounds? 180. Times 180 equals 1,260 rounds. So you're probably thinking, shit, that's a lot, right? It's not. Um, every single match I've been into, I've actually run out of ammo. Completely run out of ammo. Um, and I've had to go in with the medium pulse and, and you know, do a lot of damage. The missiles are very good the, the, at the beginning of the match, where you can sit back, you can pound targets, um, and, you know, support the, you know, the bigger guys, the heavies that are running in. Um, you can be more of an assault-esque mech near the end of the match with your medium pulse, with that pinpoint damage, and clean up quite a bit. Most of my kills are actually near the back end of a match, using those pulse lasers. I have just, I think the most I've gotten is four kills in this guy, and three of them were at the end of a match, just one-shotting guys, because they were pretty much you know, at like 12, you know, in the 20s and 30s for, uh, you know, for health. Um, so this, and down here, bottom left are the upgrades we gave it. Feral fibrous, dual heat sinks, uh, regular standard structure, no endo steel, with our, and obviously Artemis. Artemis is big on this guy. You have to get Artemis no matter what. Because even the other build I have for this guy is very, very missile heavy. The other build I have for this guy is actually quite humorous. It's two large laser, because, I mean, there's two builds, right? There's the missile build, and there's a laser build on this guy. The other build I have is same, using the same engine, minus the Beagle Action Probe, using two large lasers in the right arm, and four SRM-6s in, in, the, in the torso. And then a medium 
pulse laser in the in the head as a kind of for me to for for aiming right if i shoot someone and i hit them i know you know not to, like, i'll i'll kind of tie it all together usually with the srm 6s uh, i usually have about i think i put a four tons of ammo um i took off the uh the armor and changed that to standard that way you can throw in more heat sinks because it runs a little hotter but it's a lot more fun um so those are the two builds i have for it um now one reason why I want to tell people about this Mac is because it's a very good beginner Mac, right? It's one of those Macs where you can play in multiple different ways, earn money while playing, and learning the game at the same time. So, with this guy, you can build them out with LRMs and SRMs in, large, in, you know, in lasers. You can build them out with just straight LRMs, like I did here, or large laser heavy. It's, and, and, you know, and, and SRMs with, you know, the brawling. Um, it's a good Mac to learn. This is the Mac that I started playing with at the beginning with my unit and this guy really really got me into the game because the guy can soak up a lot of damage can take a lot of hits put a lot of rounds down range and in the end he's lots of fun and it's basically like a giant when you tweak the, the mech different ways um, with the large laser build it with the SRM 6s I can actually max out the armor on this guy bring it up right up to 494 and he basically becomes a large wall and I can just sit there, take a pounding, and use my large lasers and my SRMs and brawl like a motherfucker. And, you know, with like with that build, I think I've gotten uh, four kills as well, my max. But they were, like, in the match itself, not near the end. I think maybe one of them was near the end, but that was, you know, it's one of those ma mechs where you build it to run in and, you know, run and gun. Or you can also build it to sit back, lob lots of rounds, and then switch over to your kind of in close you know, medium pulse and move in that way. Um, one thing I will say is the one I found that like, gets you the most amount of money, obviously for C bills wise, when not running premium time or anything like that, is this one, the LRM build. I just noticed on average I get more damage, uh, more assists and things like that, obviously. With the brawler I find that I get uh, more kills. Um, not as much damage, ironically. But at the same time, you know, it's more fun, right, than sitting back and lobbing. Kind of depends on your mood. So I always find this mech is the best one to use, because at any moment, the way you're feeling, you can swap out certain things, and the mech plays totally different, even though it's the exact same guy. Um, one of the things I'm thinking of is actually just buying another one, and having it built in as the brawler, and have the other one as, you know, just the LRM. So anyways, um, as per usual, um, yay or nay, I say yay, buy this guy if you have it. Um, if you have the C-Bills available, as I said, don't spend MC on this guy. You don't need to. Uh, C-Bills. Um, just when it, But when you go to buy it, remember it's going to cost you probably a good, you know, 7 or 8 million after the fact to situate him whether you want to go to LRM build or brawling build. Um, so the next videos you're going to see is just me with the LRM build, running around, shooting shit, and having fun. And then the other one will be the brawling build, running in and gunning, and acting like a complete and utter moron. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so thanks for watching. Um, up next are the two quick little videos here, um, little clips with uh, some amazing and awesome music showing the uh, the two mechs in action. So uh, watch and thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>